it's a little overwhelming thinking that you're doing something that has not been done in this many hundreds of years, but I think it's time. It's time to make change. It's time to move things forward. It's time to inspire others. So I was actually doing research for another project that had to do with gender equity or gender inequity back in 2014. And I came across an article in the Career Journal. And the article had a statement in it that said something to the effect of the only full-size statue honoring a woman on state-owned land in Kentucky was General uh, Castleman's horse, the the, um, Confederate monument that was located in Louisville. And I just couldn't believe that was true. I just, it blew me away. So I um, spoke with my husband. I was very upset. I was really upset. She was upset about it and I can't blame her. I I was upset too. And so I asked her what she was going to do about it. And uh, she got on the phone and started calling the governor's office. I actually, I called the Capitol and asked to speak with the governor who was Steve Bashir at the time. And, um, That didn't happen, but they did put me through to Eleanor Jordan, who was the executive director of the uh, Commission on Women, and I just explained to her that this was not acceptable. We had to change this. We knew we wanted to honor a woman, at least in full size and in bronze, and we wanted to honor her in the Capitol building, and so I... Um, basically asked Eleanor to speak with the other women who were on the Commission for Women to decide who to honor. And ultimately it was their decision and they chose to honor Nettie Depp. And she's relatively unknown, but uh, she was a teacher and a principal and an elected school superintendent in 1913, which is seven years before women had full voting rights in Kentucky. She serves as a proxy for a lot of other unsung heroes, a lot of other women who have done many different things to benefit others and to be an active leader in their community who also aren't known. Well, people seeing it, I mean, not not for any kind of uh, vanity purposes, but for, for the educational aspect of it and for, the school children to to see a woman who deserves to be there and, and to help them understand that there were many great people in our wonderful nation that did incredible things and they weren't all white men, <laughs> even though that's kind of what it seems like if you look in museums and, and, uh, and capitals around the country. Hopefully this will change the trajectory of a really stubborn history in Kentucky, what I call an obstinate norm that has just been very difficult to change. And usually the second time something happens, it's a little bit easier than the first time.